Hey everybody, welcome back to Brandon's Ballistics. I'm your host, Brandon Barker, and well, today, we're not inside the house. So, let's go ahead and get down to, uh, the couple things we've got to take care of. We're going to get the cold word out of the way. Uh, that's what I use before, hat. Pretty simple, pretty easy. So, uh, next, let's go ahead and get, uh, if you don't know what the cold word's for, just go watch any of the other videos in the past, and they'll tell you how to get into the giveaway I, that I do. Weekly giveaway, get you something free stuff. Uh... Or are we talking about a gun? So this is the Mossberg 500A. Uh, a lot of people are going to be looking at this thinking it's a Mossberg 590, but no, this is actually older than that. Uh, this was uh, this is the Mossberg 500A, which was designed in the in the 1950s, uh, between 1955 and 1960 is what I've been able to uh, come up. So the, these have been sold since the 1960s, designed in the 1950s. Sold since the 1960s. So, uh, it's a very old design, design shotgun, but that does not mean that it is not a good design shotgun. You know, of course, something that's been designed that long ago that is still in use today just tells you exactly how good it really is. Um, you know, stock, anyway, not including uh, this last little, you know, fat defense forward grip, um, your weight is uh, two and a half pounds, unloaded, of course, but, you know, Five shells is not going to really uh, increase the weight too, too much. That being said, you do have a tube, you know, for the shotgun. This is a pump-action tube-fed shotgun that holds five rounds. Five plus one, so you can have a total of six rounds if you put one in the chamber. This does have a three-inch chamber, so you could put a three-inch Nitro Mags in here if you wanted to. And, you know, for a pump shotgun, depending on what your uses of this shotgun could be, I mean, for hunting, self-defense, etc., um, you know, it, you can... It's nice having all your options available to you, you know, as far as ammunition choices comes, you know, is concerned. Uh, the barrel length on this is 18 and a half inches. Now, uh, this does have the uh, the pistol grip and adjustable stock, uh, which is always real nice. You can always upgrade or, uh, you know, the stock to a, you know, different size. This is just your standard uh, AR type of uh, stock that goes over top of buff buffer tool buffer tube, if I can say things correctly. Uh, as mentioned, this is a Fab Defense uh, forward grip. It's a uh, pretty nice uh, forward grip for you know shot. Well, actually, for anything really. So uh, I can't wait to get this out on the range and try it out. Speaking of going out in the range, uh, this is not my shotgun. This comes from a, a viewer that I've done a couple of his guns in the past by the name of Stephen Nelson. Uh, he lives pretty close by to me, and uh, every once in a while he, he asked me if uh, if I want to do a video on one of his guns. Uh, he actually dropped off a couple, uh, so the next few videos will actually be his firearms. Um, let's see, one twenty two rifle, one uh, 17 HMR, and one three eighty. So yeah, the next four guns, well, I, I, don't, I don't exactly know what the upload order is going to be, but there's going to be four of them that's going to be his collection. So, uh, yeah, there's not really too much for me to get into with. Uh, we do have a, uh, a safety up here on top. So, uh, you know, the safety isn't down here at the bottom. Speaking of, uh, the release, so you can, you know, rack, is not down here. It's not, you know, it's not button style, and it's not, you know, right here either like I'm used to. This one is down here. So you can kind of see the button is right there. So uh, it is a little bit... I've not found a good way to be able to, you know, unlock it while trying to stay into a good grip. So, uh, yeah. But that's just my experience with this style shotgun. I'm sure if somebody that's uh, used to the you know, release uh, lever being there, they can get to it pretty easily. But, yeah, with me, I have to, uh, you know, kind of camp my whole hand around and then to be able to reach it and then pull it back to rack. But after you rack your first one in there, which I can actually show. So before Ollie decided to go nuts uh, with the scratch pad, so let's go ahead and show. So we got some uh, two snap caps here, 12 gauge, of course, this being a 12 gauge shotgun. So we're going to load two in. You notice, you can't rack, just like any regular shotgun. Got to hit that little reliever first, allows you to rack, which as you can see there, allows you to rack one in. After you shoot, pow, you can then take that out, rack the next one in, shoot, out, and now since I'm empty, goes on to the chamber, 
Oh, I actually can. Okay, there we go. So, I, uh, I figured it would lock them, but yeah, that would make sense. So, <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, uh, these are extremely reliable shotguns, extremely well built, and they can be, you know, ab abused pretty heavily before they start having problems. Uh, you know, this one, can you tell, it's, uh, it, it's been, it's been loved. <laughs> it's, it's been through some loving. Uh, but, you know, shotguns don't have to look perfect for them to be useful. Uh, especially this, uh, I can't wait to try this little thing. Yeah, I might actually buy one of these for my pump shotguns. That just, it feels just right. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to try that out a little bit later in the day. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a you know, pretty short video since a lot of people are saying they like the shorter videos. So, I'll go ahead and enter there. Got the code word done. So, now I just got to say, if you, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit a like down on the video, or on the screen, or you know what I'm trying to say. If you liked it, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> and especially if you want to see uh, future content of this actually out on the range, which will be tomorrow's video. Uh, or if this is on a Saturday, then I guess it'll be Tuesday's video. It'll be sometime in the near future, I'll say that. Uh, leave your comments below. Do you have a uh, shotgun like this? Either a uh, Mossberg 590, do you have uh, 500A, B, or C? Uh, you know, that's you, Mossberg, if I remember it correctly, Mossberg, Mossberg A is 12 gauge, B is 20, C is 16. I think that's how it goes. Um, that's something I should have wrote down and I didn't. But yeah, uh, make sure to leave comments down below and tell me what your experiences with these uh, guns are. Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm a big fan of Mossbergs. And the, the, for uh, shotguns, they're not, they're not too expensive. So uh, that makes them, you know, well within the, uh, you know, the standard man's uh, arsenals. <laughs> uh, make sure to share this video around with your friends and family. And definitely make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss the range video with the Mossberg 500A. We'll see you in that video. Peace.